Hello, my name is Mrs Chambers and I'm so happy to be with you again today. We're going to continue our learning about percentages in this lesson and we're going to investigate how to calculate percentages of quantities. Before we move on to new learning, here's Mr Connell's challenge for you. So he gave you a challenge to make some more dominoes to place at each end to match one quarter and to match 0 0.75. And he asked you to make your dominoes using fractions, decimals, percentages, or images, or a range of the, all of those. How did you do? Here's one solution. Yours might look different to this. To match with one quarter, we could have used an image divided into four equal parts, with one part shaded, or use the decimal 0 0.25, but I chose 25%. And to match with 0 0.75, I could use 75% or an image divided into four equal parts with three parts shaded. I chose the fraction three quarters. How does yours look? Does yours look different to that? Did you choose some of the other representations? Were you correct? Zara is doing a 420 kilometre charity bike ride. So far, she has completed 50% of the route. How far has she cycled? Pause the video and have a look at the journey. 100% of the race is 420 kilometres and 100% of 420 kilometres is 420 kilometres. 50% is equivalent to 0 0.5 or a half of 420 kilometres and we find this by dividing the whole into two equal parts. Each equal part has a value of 210 kilometres. Zara has cycled 210 kilometres. We could say to find 50% of a number or amount, divide it by two or halve it. Rishi has completed the same bike ride, but he has done 10% of it. How far has Rishi cycled? Have a look at the number line and see what you think. Remember, 10% is a fairly small part of 100%. Pause the video and decide. 100% of the race is 420 kilometres. We know that 10% is equivalent to 0 0.1 or 1 tenth of 420. And we find this by dividing the whole into 10 equal parts. Each equal part has a value of 42 kilometres. Rishi cycled the distance of one of these parts, so he cycled 42 kilometres. We could say to find 10% of a number or amount, we must divide it by 10. James has completed 1% of the same bike ride. How far has he cycled? Remember, 1% is a very small amount of 100%. Pause the video and think. As we already know, 100% of the race is 420 kilometres and 10% of the race is 42 kilometres. James completed 1% of the race and 1% is equivalent to 0 0.01 or one hundredth. So we need to divide the whole by a hundred. The whole has been, been divided into a hundred equal parts and each p equal part has the value of 4.2. James has cycled the distance of one of these parts so he has cycled 4.2 kilometres. We could say to find one percent of a number or amount divide it by one hundred. Let's look at the example of the bike ride again, but this time using just the written form of the ratio table. We use vertical ratio tables as they help us to see proportional relationships between percentages of amounts. Let's complete the table. So we need to find 50% of 420, so we must divide it by 2, and that equals 210. We're going to find 10% of 420, so we must divide it by 10, and that gives us 42 and then to find 1% we need to divide it by 100 so 420 divided by 100 gives us 4.2 what do you notice about the table 
Once the table is completed, I can clearly see the relationship between the amounts. Let me use my highlighter. So we've got 50% is half of 100%. Okay, and 210 is half of 420. 10% is a tenth of the size of 100%. And 100% is 10 times the size as 10%. Okay, and then we've got 1%, which is 100th of the size of 100%, and is 100 times the size, 100% is 100 times the size of 1%. We do not say that 50% equals 210 because that is not mathematically accurate and it depends what the whole is. Instead, we can say that 50% of 420 equals 210. We can say 10% of 420 equals 42 and we can say 1% of 420 equals 4.2. Let's try to complete this vertical ratio table together using a different amount to start. This time, and here's our amount, so it's 650. So this time, 100% is 650. Okay, so 50% of this amount means we need to divide 650 by 2. Half of 650, how might we do that? Half of 600 is 300, and half of 50 is 25. So 50% 50 of 650 is 325. Let's check. Next, let's find 10% of 650. To find 10% of any amount, I must divide the amount by 10. 650 divided by 10 equals 65. 10% of 650 equals 65. To find 1% of any amount, I must divide the total by 100. So 650 divided by 100 is equal to 6.5. 1% 6 of 650 equals 6.5. Okay. So how could we complete this ratio table? Pause the video and have a go. OK, to find 50%, we must divide the number by 2. 50% of 30 equals 15. To find 10%, we must divide the number by 10. 10% of 30 equals 3. To find 1%, we must divide the number by 100. So 1% of 30 equals 0 0.3. Were you correct? I'm sure you were. This time we have, we've got a missing number. So we've got a missing percent of 54 equals 5.4. Can you find the unknown percent? Could you use a ratio table to help? Pause the video and then come back to me. I looked at the relationship between 54 and 5.4 and I know that 5.4 multiplied by 10 equals 54. Therefore, 54 divided by 10 must equal 5.4. So the answer must be 10% of 54 equals 5.4. We can see it here, 10% of 54 equals 5.4. Fourteen is the same or equal to an unknown percentage of one thousand four hundred. Could you use a ratio table to help here? Pause the video and then come back to me. OK, so this time I looked at the relationship between the total fourteen and one thousand four hundred. 1,400 divided by 10 is equal to 140. So that's not right because I've got an, an answer of 14. So 1,400 divided by 100 is equal to 14. 
and I divide by 100 to find 1%. Therefore, 14 is the same as or equal to 1% of 1,400. Did you get it correct? I bet you did. We set the target of raising £200 for our class charity. So far, we've raised 10% of the money. How much have we raised? Pause the video, solve the problem and come back to me. OK, so, so far, we've raised 10% of £200. To find 10%, we must divide the total amount by 10. 200 divided by 10 is £20. So therefore, 10% of 200 is £20. Did you get it correct? There are 45,000 tickets available for a rugby match. 50% of the tickets have been sold. So how many of the tickets have been sold? Could you use a ratio table to help? Pause the video and then come back to me. 45,000 is our total, or 100%. 50% have been sold. To find 50% of a number, you must divide by 2. Pause the video and work out how to halve 45,000. I did it this way. I did half of 40 is 20, so half of 40,000 must be 1,000 times this, which is 20,000. And half of 5 is 2.5, so half of 5,000 must be 1,000 times 2.5, so 2,500. So 50% of 45,000 is 22,500. Let's just have a little look. There we go. So we've got our 45,000 and divided by 2 is 22,500. 22,500 tickets have been sold. Did you get it correct? Here is your practice question to go away and complete on your own. There's also a challenge following this one. A zoo has 300 butterflies in its butterfly house. 1% of them are rare banded peacock butterflies. How many banded peacock butterflies does the zoo have? Okay. Here is your challenge question. Class six are doing a sponsored silence for the whole of the six hour school day. So far, they are 10% of the way through. How long is left? Could you use a ratio table to help? What else would you need to think about? Thank you for all your hard work today and for learning all about percentages. Um, and I hope to see you very soon.